Okay, you guys are going to be using HitFilm 4 Express, which should be available in the Zenworks window. So you'll open that program. You're going to start a new project. And your template here, um, wherever it starts, you want to probably do a 720 at 30 frames per second for our projects in class. 1080, of course, would give you some better picture, but with these computers, I don't suggest it just because um, this program is hard for the computers to run as it is. So we're going to stay with this lower level, but you don't want to go lower than this. And you'll start editing. Okay, so here you are in view mode for editing, where you'll do a lot of your stuff. Um, but you are going to switch between a couple different areas. Here you can import your media. So once you have done your recordings, you need to save them to the computer you're working on. I already have my stuff saved here, so I'm going to select all of these and import them into the program. They're going to show up down here. So when I click on one of these, it's showing me up in this window what it looks like. I can play my clip and I can cut in and out. So let's say I don't want my clip to start until here. And if that were so, I would want to click this button and it would chop off the beginning. So that's that's the beginning point of the video I want it to start on. I can do the same thing towards the end if I want to clip off anything. And then I can tell it to insert into my timeline. The timeline, everything you put here, is what will be in your actual project. Right now, none of this is in my project. I have a mix here of JPEG pictures and video and P4s. So I'm going to start with a picture. I can drag it over to the timeline, or I can insert it from up here. Either way is fine. This is really small at the moment, so I can increase and view my timeline in a larger, getting closer by using these little icons down here. Currently, this picture is going to play for five seconds. So let's say I want to make it longer or shorter. I can move my cursor until I get this little bracket symbol, and I can click and drag either way to lengthen or shorten that picture. So right now, everything in this window is going to be my actual project. So I can play. It's going to show me what it will look like. This is just a still picture. It's not doing anything at the moment. Um, and then when I when it changes to another picture, here, I'll just drag this one over. It's going to abruptly change to my next picture, like so. Um, and this one is very blown in. I'm going to have to adjust its scale. So I can right click on this picture and transform. I can tell it to fit to the frame. Um, let's say frame width. I can rotate it with this blue button if I feel inclined to do so. I can move it up and down by clicking and dragging. But I'm going to tell it to um, center in the frame for now. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I'm going to center it. Okay, so when I go from one picture when it goes from one picture to the next, it's a pretty abrupt change. So let's say I want it to gradually fade in and fade out. I'm going to hover on this middle line and hit Control and click, which gives me this little square button. Then I'm going to do it again, Control and click. And then I'll be able to take this bottom and drag it, which is going to fade that picture out. I'm going to do the same. Well, actually, let's see what that looks like. So if one begins to fade out, then the one other one starts really quickly. I think I will have, I'm going to have this one fade in. So create my two brackets, drag that bottom one down, and now it fades into it. So you can do that with a couple different things. Okay, I'm going to 
zoom out so I can see some more stuff to put in here. Um, so I'm going to put in one of my videos. And right now, I'm just going to put in the whole video over here at the end of this picture. Um, this is the audio that's part of that. So let's say I don't want this audio. Um, I'm going to unlink it from the video. And now it should be separated. And I could just delete it. Um, anything you decide you don't like, you can hit this undo button. So for now, I'm going to keep them linked. Some other options for blending. You have a whole list here that you could kind of play with. Um, so, for example, let's see what happens from that. So, the color blend just totally blacked out my video. So I'm going to go back to normal so I can see it. But you can play around with those different things. You can, again, with the video, you can hit control and create these little blocks so that it fades in if you wanted to do that. If you need to split and cut off some video once it's in the editor, you have this razor blade tool here. And wherever I adjust this, so if I click here, it splits it into two separate files. I'm going to move down. Let's say I want to split it again here. Okay, so now I've made that one video file into three sections. And one reason I may want to do that is because this middle section, maybe I don't want, or this whole beginning section. So if you're recording and there's a lot of camera movement or somebody wasn't quite ready or there's a, you know, whatever you want to get rid of, you can split it and then I can delete that section. And then, of course, I'm going to want to back this up so that there's not a blank in my project. And you'll be able to make any kind of adjustment with your video in that regard. You can also use these brackets with video. And what this does is it speeds up the video. So it doesn't just cut off the end or the beginning to shorten that video length. It speeds up the entire video, so keep that in mind. So you'll just keep building on to your timeline to create your project. And that is the basic gist of HitFilm for Express. You'll eventually export, um, but for now you'll just start building onto your timeline and you can play around with um, the different blending options, transforming your pictures, and whatnot.